there is a terrible, terrible slaughter that is underway uh, in Gaza. And despite, you know, a whole host of promised protections of the civilian population that is innocent of the harm uh, that was done by Hamas. Uh, people are unprotected, the innocent are being killed, women and children, public institutions that should provide support and help are just being decimated. And we felt as a country and as a signatory to a range uh, of international uh, uh, conventions that it's time we make conventions work for the good of ordinary people and that we could not idly, as a member state of the UN, uh, sit by and watch this as though it's a film um, that we needed to step up and uh, draw to the world's attention uh, that a genocide is underway in our view. These are countries that call on all of us to observe democracy to respect international uh, human rights law, uh, to respect all the frameworks that govern uh, uh, global uh, institutions. So it is them, in fact, who should be upholding a convention such as the Convention uh, on the Punishment uh, of the Crime of Genocide. So it's a pity uh, that countries that often lecture us about how we must observe democracy international law uh, and other important instruments are the very ones that are now saying uh, do not use these. Uh, what lesson uh, does this offer for future breaches of human rights? We are concerned at the deaths that were a result of the Hamas attack and we're concerned at the situation of hostages who continue to be held uh, by Hamas and we would want these to be released. But this must uh, uh, be accompanied by a genuine attempt to resolve uh, the oppression of the people of Palestine. I think we should all be extremely worried uh, uh, when uh, we can act uh, uh, with impunity and attack each other. We're just opening up room uh, for greater harm. Um, those of us who always call for us to respect international law uh, should have regard to international law and should use its prescripts uh, to define uh, all our actions. But I think uh, hope will come out quite uh, strongly uh, in support uh, of the people of Palestine, uh, really emphasizing the need for a ceasefire and also that humanitarian aid uh, must reach those people who need it. Uh, so this, out of this meeting should be a call to end the harm, to end the slaughter, to end the deaths. It's a real pleasure for South Africa to be represented at the Non-Aligned Movement Summit. So we put forward a message of uh, continuing with multilateralism and calling for the reform of the United Nations and insisting that disputes, global disputes or regional disputes should be resolved through negotiations and we specifically mentioned the troubles that are unfolding in the Middle East and particularly in Gaza where genocide is being perpetrated and we referred to the case that we have referred to the International Court of Justice and we also did say that South Africa concerned about what is happening there, particularly the humanitarian situation, has called for a ceasefire and has called for the resumption of negotiations that will lead to the recognition of the two states, Israel and Palestine, and in accordance with the 1967 uh, boundaries. Uh, and uh, we've also called for the release of hostages uh, as well as the release of prisoners. And we want the genocide to stop. Hence, we went to the International Court of Justice. Do you think more nations should also show courage like South Africa did? Are you proud of South Africa's actions? Why did other nations that speak more of human rights fail to take this basic step? Let us know in the comment section if only African nations have taken the Palestine matter seriously. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, 
subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about, African politics, economy, and increasing power. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Like and share the video, and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our African videos. It's the best way to support us.